Hello, I'm making this little video in order to show you a little snapshot of my life. I um, have EDS type 3, which is the hypermobility type. I um, can flex in many different ways that are difficult for the average person because my um, connective tissues aren't very strong I or you know made right um, I can hyperflex my arms in many ways and which make life a little bit difficult I my it extends down to my hips and my knees and it causes a lot of dislocations and a lot of pain when I walk or even when I, I'm sitting for very long periods of time. I, um, I tape my knees in the morning with um, dressing retention sheets and rigid strapping tape. It, um, it helps keep at least my knees a little bit more together so that it doesn't dislocate as easy. Sometimes I use a cane in order to walk um, I hate using a cane because I'm, I'm 23 years old and everyone looks at me that like I look fine but internally I'm just a mess I feel like I feel like I'm a mess so um, in order to reduce the pain that I have on a regular basis I take um, an anti-epileptic gabapentin and um, I also take um, a narcotic in order to just try and lower the amount of pain that my body is just feeling from I, I guess all the dislocations and whatever else is going on in there um, I have I also lidocaine patches in order I put that on for my muscle pain and I try to put it on the spots that spasm. I'm wondering if other people with EDS also get muscle spasms. Um, sometimes these spasms wake me up at night and when I finally get to go to sleep, to be woken up by a muscle spasm is very frustrating. So um, I don't know if also other EDS uh, patients have the problem with GI, their GI tract. For whatever reason, if I don't take an antispasmodic before I eat, the food is regurgitated back up. And so this is like a ritual. Every single time I have to eat something, I must take an antispasmodic before to paralyze my esophagus in order for the food to go down. And then once it's down, I have to take uh, another antispasmodic um, to help the uh, rest of the process. So it's um, it's very difficult and frustrating to even eat food. And um, I'm just I just want other people to share about how they get through their days you don't have to have EDS in order to comment I want to know how people with fibromyalgia get through their day how anyone else that are suffering from chronic pain how do you get through the day how what medications work for you like um, the lidocaine patches kind of I feel like kind of helped me out especially with my lower back pain um, I'm still looking for something that can help my hips sometimes when I'm walking it feels like you know something somebody stabbed me and I get it gets stuck and until there's like a little pop I can't walk again so I'm looking for answers because a lot of doctors they're they're stumped they don't know so we have to figure this out on our own and I would like for others like me for all of us to get together and just share our stories and try and figure out the best way to improve 
our quality of life. Like this is I, I'm 23 years old. I'm trying to get my degree, and you know, constantly falling and and cringing in pain is not my idea of a good time. I want to get back to. I want to act like a 23 year old. I want to be able to act like a 23 year old. I feel like an old lady right now. So don't, you know, hesitate to comment and share your stories. Even if you don't have any, any idea of how to treat it, just let me know what you think. Thanks.